Today, it's easy to visualize your brain as a little computer inside your head. But how did people imagine their brains before computers existed? Computers weren't widely known until the 1960s, so in the 1940s, you'll see things like this neuroscientist describing the brain as an enchanted loom, which, did you know that computers evolved from weaving machines? Looms had punch cards with strings of ones and zeros that controlled whether a specific thread went up or down. And each generation tends to use the most advanced technology they know of as a metaphor for their brains. Whether that's a switchboard or a little factory in your head, Freud imagined the brain as a steam engine, which weren't around when Descartes was alive, so he thought of his brain as a series of hydraulic tubes. So if you raised a kid without access to any technology except for vending machines, would they start to see themselves as one? 